Hello, this is lesson 3.3, .3, Compare and Order Decimals, our essential question that's going to guide us today. How can you use place value to compare and order decimals? Uh, if you can recognize your place values and you know that tenths and hundredths and thousandths are all different because they're different sizes, uh, you're going to do very well in this lesson, especially if you know where they are. Uh, if this lesson seems difficult to you, then uh, you're going to have to spend more time memorizing your place values. All right, at the end of this lesson, you, the student, should be able to compare decimals by lining up the place values and comparing each place. And so as we go through this lesson, um, we're going to be taking a look at where are the place values and lining up the ones. The ones are the, the key here. We're going to find the ones and then line them up. Here's our notes for comparing decimals. Essential question on the top. And then uh, what should I do first? What's my next step? Uh, and if you can follow those um, steps, you're going to do very well in this lesson. Here's a very typical problem that we're going to be seeing uh, you know, in fifth grade and sixth grade and beyond. Which one's greater, 3.472 or 3.445? And in this, uh, we're going to be always identifying what is the ones place in these numbers. Once you've identified the ones, you make sure that you stack the ones up. So I'm going to write the first number up there, 3.472. And then I'm going to stack up this other one with the ones place right underneath it, 3.445. And then if you do one digit per square of your graph paper, uh, everything should be lined up at that point. Now we are, we're going to be comparing. So step one, line up your decimal place, or line up all your place values. So the ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths are all lined up now. And then one by one, compare them from left to right, because on the left, uh, they're greater than the, they are on the right. Threes are the same. The fours and the tenths place are the same. Now here's where we have our difference in the hundredths place. So seven hundredths is more than or greater than four hundredths. And so the first number, 3.472, is greater than 3.445. Uh, and so that's... That's how we're going to be working these problems, stacking them up and then comparing uh, each place value. So here we have the first book problem, and we're going to write the first number in there as soon as we identify the ones place. Identifying the ones, there they are. And then writing the numbers on there, 4.563, and then 4.536, and and the ones place tenths, hundredths, and thousandths are all lined up. All right, next is comparing each place one by one. So the ones are the same, tenths are the same, hundredths not the same. Uh, and so six hundredths are more than three hundredths, or greater than three hundredths. And so the first number is greater than the second number, because in the hundredth place. Now, I don't even have to go to the thousandths place at all. I just find the first place value that they are different, and then that one becomes uh, the only one I need to look at. All right, here's the second problem. We have 5.640 and then 5.64. And a lot of people will do that because we've been lining up things from uh, right to left, or for, uh, lining them up on the right to add them and subtract them forever. Uh, but when you have decimals, you cannot subtract thousandths from hundredths and so on. So that's wrong. What's right is, I'm going to identify my ones place, 5.64, and so my fives should be lined up one on top of the other, and then that lines up the decimals, the tenths, hundredths, and so on. And then anytime you have a blank space on the end of a decimal number, you can just add a zero on there. Now comparing, which should be fairly obvious at this point, the ones place the same, tenths, hundredths, thousandths are all the same and if you have all of those equal then one number equals the other even though they don't look exactly alike all right moving on to the last uh, problem in this section we have uh, 8.673 and 8.637 uh, highlighting the ones place and then stacking them up 8.673 8.637 and once you have them all stacked up, we can compare them. Get the ones place the same, tenths place the same, 
hundredth place not the same and so what's the difference here it's seven hundredths is greater than three hundredths and so 8.673 is greater than 8.637 all right for the next section there's two things we have to do we have to name what number is greater but also name the greatest place value where the digits differ we're going to do the same thing though uh, and then we'll we'll see that the skill is almost exactly the same you have 3.579 and 3.564 and we're just going to be putting those on our paper so it's 3.579 and then looking for the ones place the ones place is the three I'll put that there and then 564 now comparing them you have the ones place is the same tenths place is the same where do they differ here in the hundredths place and so naming the greatest place value where the digits differ they differ in the hundredths place so you write hundredth and then which number is greater well seven is greater than six so 3.579 is the greater number And moving on to the next one we have 9.572 and then nine is in the ones place so that goes right underneath it 9.637 and again comparing nines are the same or the ones are the same the tenths that's where they differ All right six is greater than five and so in the tenths place is where they differ and then the bottom number is greater because six is greater than five 9.637 all right moving on to the last one you have four in the ones place 4.159 and then you have 4.152 make sure that the ones are lined up they are now comparing them ones are the same tenths are the same hundredths are the same where they differ they differ in the thousandths place thousand with a th on it and then uh, which one's greater the nine is greater than two so 4.159 is greater than 4.152 all right last couple problems uh, that we're going to do in the next section we're going to be stacking all of these up and trying to figure out which one's the least out of those and then uh, writing them in order here so identifying the ones place is key here there's the ones place there there's the one place there there's the ones place and there's the ones place so let's stack up all of those numbers you got 4.08 4.3 4.4 4.803 and then 4.038 and like I said stacking them up is is the key now let's compare all these uh, numbers and one way that, to compare them is uh, just put your finger over um, the numbers and and compare where do they differ um, is you know it's going to be revealed one by one I'm just going to use a highlighter for that uh, if they're all the same I'm going to use the green highlighter so in the ones place they are all the same where they differ now is in this place so we can see which one is the greatest already it's 4.803 that one's the greatest so I'm going to write that one in last 4.803 <laughs> which one's the next greatest 4.3 uh, and now we can't tell which one from the tenths place which one is the very least so we're going to go on to the next um, number i'm going to cross out being organized the ones that i don't need to look at anymore all right and then the next section we're going to look at the eight and the three in the hundredths place so the eight's greater than the three and so it goes 4.08 is the next greatest one and then 4.3 is oops, I'm sorry 4.038 sneak a little O and 38 in there all right so 4.038 is the least out of all of those and did you notice how uh, every time I found one that was greater I just put it up into the greatest place and so I kind of wrote these backwards 
Now let's try the next one, identifying the ones place in each one of these numbers. There's the one, there's the one, there's the one, and there's the one, and making sure that I line up all of those ones, 1.703, 1 1.037, 1 and then uh, 1.37, and then the last one is 1.073. All right, taking a peek at each one of these, the ones place is the same, tenths place, uh, they're different. Uh, and so it's easy to see which one is the greatest of all of those. There's the seven, it's greater than zero and three and zero. So this one's the uh, most, and that one's gonna go on the right because I'm ordering them from least to greatest. So the greatest one goes last. I'm putting a little slash through the numbers. You can also put a semicolon, that's how they used it in the book, uh, but a slash um, helps me see it better. Sometimes a semicolon looks like a comma and it looks like you have you know thousands and millions and things like that. So just put a slash through there. All right, and then I've used that one. And the next one is 1.37 because the three is greater than the zeros. And I've used that one. And then moving on, I'm gonna be comparing the next two numbers that remained, seven and three, seven's greater than three. So this one's the least, and that one's the next least. So I got 1.0, oh, that looks like a, looked like a um, comma there, 1.073, oh, and then the very least one is 1.037. All right, so being organized, stacking them up, um, crossing them out after you've used them is a key. So what's your job? Your job is to do the student workbook, page 115, problems 10 through 19. Good luck.